Welcome back to another basic game maker studio tutorial and this time we're gonna tackle the topic of the background and how you can create some beautiful and very easy effects which are just basically your background and some nice scrolling and yeah how and how you can actually control those layers or basically the background itself so if you want to know that stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can because that keeps youtube happy and boosts my channel so let's get right into the good stuff so basically what are backgrounds where can you find them this is quite easy so for example you have your let's stop animating here you have your layers on the right side and then well one of those is the create background layer and this is just a layer you can manipulate and for example these two guys are just oh yeah i have to rid of those guys here so basically what i'm having here are there just two layers one is just for the sky and the other one is the castle and let's see for example the sky when it normally uh, what you do is just take an uh, image and then well this is how it looks like one to one and not change but the cool thing with background layers or with backgrounds in all over is that you can actually do some really cool stuff with that so first of all your first background will be something like this basically no sprites or no image attached and just one color and yeah not really anything to do but this is quite important to have one of those things as a default at the background but for example if you wouldn't be having that and i would start the game we would actually see some really uh disturbing smearing effects let's go in here and put that guy up okay where's the top it doesn't really matter um so let's see how that looks like yeah <laughs> as you can see what the hell is this so <laughs> game maker studio is trying to draw on something which it's not having that's why it's always good to have one background layer just with one um, color even though maybe it's not visible um, to the player it's always good to have that so as you can see it's quite useful if you want to have this stuck on the image effect well here you go so basically the first thing if you have just a color here on the left side so this is these are the properties you can just put them up bam 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 and then you have a color and the rest you can completely ignore because it doesn't really affect anything but let's go for some images and let's go for the sky thing here and as you can see this is not good enough but backgrounds have one cool thing you can well repeat them and this is you can do that with a very easy thing here it says horizontal tile so basically it's just horizontal tile okay as you can see it multiplies that thing into infinity to somewhere over there so this is cool so you can just repeat that horizontally or vertically but as you can see this is not meant to be well repeated vertically so this is just good for horizontal repeating then put our castle in there bam or you can do something like stretch which i didn't uh, recommend because it's stretching to your room so basically it's just stretching one image from this point to this point and that's why it looks a little blurry it has of course some advantages to do that but here it has none but this is of course situational so this is uh, well, stretching and repeating and the other thing is of course you can offset this just means i don't know let's go for 50 and it goes 50 pixels to the x side and to the y side so basically this is just changing its position in the room not too important in my opinion but sometimes uh quite for example here as you can see those chains running down here they have uh which one was the chain let's see so this is this guy and he has a x offset of almost 300 pixels to the right so he is all the time in this position so here 
it makes sense here it really doesn't because it's just a nice repeated image but for example let's say you want to do something like this you want it to animate kind of or just move and that you can do with horizontal speed or vertical speed then it will go down so for example let's go in here and as you can see this you already have a falling scene which is pretty cool so here already you have kind of a parallax falling scene which you have seen in some i don't know some pixel game i forgot it i guess it was is it released no it hasn't been released but as you see the character and then it's just kind of falling but it's not it's just like this and when you see parallax it just means that you have like layers which are on top and then bottom 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 and then the ones which are closer to the player are moving fast and the other ones which are more away they move slower as you can see and this is uh, how i did it well basically just go minus four so it goes up then you create falling and for example this is the first one so this is going minus four and then the one which is uh, at the very back just minus one so here you can just scale around and play around so this is a cool thing but for example if you say okay all right i understand these properties but what is what about animation speed and frames and things this is good for if you don't have a single image like this because uh, as you can see uh, hello well, let's go for this guy here so not working let's vertical tie ah, as you can see it is quite big but of course i want to tile it down as you can see vertical tiling downwards bam and this is how it looks like but for example you want to have some more control how can you do that well i put into an object into the room which i call object control background and here you can do a few things in my opinion not too many useful things but you can have a lot of control so so how can you control a background basically you just do one thing you have a variable which i just called grab background id and then you say layer background get id and then in those quotation marks the name of the background which you see background cave 4 so this is this guy here yeah so this is the first one and now we want to change something so what can we change with the background not a lot but for example we can have a different blend a different alpha or if you're going to go through other options you can just go and i don't know change the sprite change the speed the index and all that stuff but one thing you cannot change and i haven't found the option to do so is the horizontal or vertical speed downwards that you cannot change directly of course you can change it indirectly yes but there's no like background um, then this horizontal speed thing you cannot do that directly of course you can do that but here let's start the game then you change the background uh, <laughs> if i put in the right room my bad uh, da -da 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 -da. no come on just put it on top of it and then well as you can see it's reddish and it's more transparent you can see the background stuff so this is pretty sweet off with your head and yeah and for example but if you say maybe i want to change its position then you cannot go and say layer get id from the background you just say well layer get id and then you take the whole layer not just the background properties of because that is a layer that is a layer that is a layer so the instances the assets the tiles and everything these are layers and that's why you need to distinguish here quite fast that for example you want to maybe change the position so for example here i just say all right layer x that should be 200 plus uh, go goes just like a thing which is just going a little bit more to the right so it's just updating all the, the its numbers and for example once i uh do that 
my chain will move which is i guess the this one as you can see it moves to the right so here you can actually do this movement but not on the background itself but on the layer x and y position so these are the most important functions in my opinion how to control uh, backgrounds and a little bit layers so you learn basically both here combo nice um and that was basically it hopefully that was of use to you have a good one one up indie